feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend Hey guys, how are you? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, fantabulous day. Happy almost fall, by the way, you guys. It is August 30th and I am super excited about fall. In case you have not noticed, <laughs> I am head over heels. This is my favorite season. Most of you guys already do know that about me. I absolutely love the fall Christmas season. I just, from September through January, it is my absolute favorite time of the year. And um, I normally like vlog a lot through that time, of the, through this time of the year rather. Um, and I am so excited because I have so many great ideas and content that I'm going to be putting up for you guys all throughout the fall season and also all throughout the Christmas season. So I just want to talk to you guys about my favorite movies for the fall. Oh my goodness. I have favorite movies for Christmas. But for the fall, you guys, I am absolutely, like, I started, I've started watching fall movies since the beginning of summer <laughs> and Christmas movies, and I just, I love it so much. So, as you guys can see, I am in my dining room, um, and I still have this, the last look up that you guys have been giving me some awesome, awesome support and feedback on, and I love it just as much as you do. So stay tuned for September 1st, you guys, because that video will be going up about my final decision based on you guys, on what you guys have voted for. So I want to get into the video, and I just want to tell you guys about my top 10 favorite Hallmark Channel fall movies. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I have my handy dandy list here uh, because obviously I would not remember all of them off the top of my head. So I literally had to sit down and um, write down a few of them. Um, and there's so many of them, not just Hallmark Channel, but there are different channels as well that have these movies or some of them. Um, and I'm just... I absolutely love them. Sometimes I just binge, binge watch them on YouTube because I just love fall movies. So, starting off from number 10, Pumpkin Pie Wars. I love this movie so much. Um, it's basically, this movie is basically about, um, I don't want to give it away too much. I'm not going to really go in details about the movies, uh, but I just wanted to just give you just a little bit of what the movies are about. Um, so Pumpkin Pie Wars is basically about uh, this two best friends that are no longer friends because of something that happened in their past and they um, normally every year they have like this annual pumpkin pie festival and they bake pumpkin pies, they bake all different types of pies and cakes and um, they get judged on it based on the town what the town likes or whomever the town chooses. Um, however, this year in the movie, the uh, best friends, they were no longer really best friends and their children now took over because one of the character uh, broke her leg and she was not able to take part in this uh, pumpkin pie festival anymore. And so this movie just basically ended up being such a heartfelt romantic movie and their children took over the festival and they baked and they fell in love and it just was such a romantic movie and I absolutely love it so if you guys have not checked those out go check that movie out on the Hallmark channel and this video is not sponsored by the way but Hallmark if you want to sponsor me reach out to a girl Autumn Dreams is my number nine uh, favorite movie. I love Autumn Dreams because it sort of reminds me of when you were like back in high school and you fell in love with like your high school sweetheart and you guys are so, you get so caught up in each other and you know all you wanted to do was be together and so this was the characters that were played in this movie Autumn Dreams um, 
they basically fell in love and they, you know, got married at a young age and her father was not approving of it because they were too young. And so years passed, years passed, years passed. He went off to New York, big job, you know, stockbroker, and she stayed home and maintained the farm and everything. Fell in love with someone else, and it turned out that her marriage to the previous guy was not annulled. So she had to go through the hoops of going to New York City and finding this guy and trying to get a divorce but their lives got so tied up with other things and finally when they met each other it's almost like they remembered why they fell in love in the first place so it's such a beautiful romantic movie and I just I love it love it love it so much Autumn in the Vineyard now Autumn in the Vineyard I didn't necessarily get to see this movie full on um, because for some reason I just I turned it on but I just was not able to watch it so I can't really give you a detailed synopsis of what this movie is about but go watch it for yourself and leave a comment down below and let me know I'm gonna go watch it right after this because I want to know what it's really about but Autumn in the Vineyard if you guys have not seen that movie go ahead and watch that movie and let your sister know what it's about Let's see. Falling for Vermont. Oh my goodness. Can I say more about this movie? Falling for Vermont. Lacey Chabert. She is like one of my favorite, favorite actress. Oh my goodness. I think she is such a great actress and she just, she has this, this thing about her that makes you really fall in love with her character and with her movies and they're so like homey and oh it's just beautiful and I just absolutely love watching any of her movies whether it's fall, Christmas, spring, whatever it is. I love watching um, her movies. So Falling for Vermont um, what is a movie about her character. She is this big time real estate um, broker in, in New York City in one of the most expensive zip codes in the country and in the world probably and um, she you know was with this guy and because her life got so busy she owned her own real estate brokerage firm and she just got so busy that she really didn't have time for love and romance and so the guy that she was with basically dumped her and told her that she never makes time for him and blah 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 <laughs> and so her best friend was just like, hey, listen, let's take a break. Let's go to Vermont. Her father lived in Vermont. He owned like a B&B. &B. And, um, you know, they went there for vacationing. And in Vermont, she met this guy, which was the chef at her father's B&B. &B. And to make a long story short, they went through all the hoops. They fell in love. And basically, that was the gist of the movie. Um, but if you watch this movie, you guys, it's a lot of twists and turns in this movie, and it just, it makes you feel so warm and cozy. You know what I mean? Like, if you are going to watch this movie, make sure you grab a blanket and some hot, cho hot chocolate, because let me tell you, this movie will have you crying the whole time. It's so romantic. It's so beautiful. And at the same time, it's a little bit of payback in there, you know, from Lacey Chabert, but... You guys will get to see um, what I'm talking about if you go ahead and watch Falling for Vermont. My number sixth movie is a two-part movie. Um, it's All of My Heart, part one, and it's with Lacey Schubert again. Um, with this movie, she's a chef, um, a sous chef, and in, in New York City, and her, m most of her movies takes place in New York City, I don't know why, but um, she basically was a sous chef in New York City and she wanted to be her, she wanted to own her own bed and breakfast <laughs> and she didn't really have, you know, d a direction in some way, she didn't really have a direction on how to go about doing it and she's been, you know, under this chef for many, many years and he is super disrespectful and just not um appreciative of her skills or talent however 
her aunt or cousin, I believe, died and left her and another person B and B. So they both were half owners of the um, not the B and B, but half owners of this house. Um, in like a farm country and just a small town and basically she were she was able to get uh, she went to the lawyer and met the other guy who happened to have been the son of the person that she, the aunt fell in love with <laughs> lots of twists you guys and so they both were part owners of this house and so she decided that she wanted to open up a B&B with this house, but he was like this big time stockbroker in Manhattan and he didn't want to do that because he worked on Wall Street and he didn't want to do that. So he wanted to sell his half, but she did not want to sell. So he decided to say, okay, well you go ahead and take the house, do what you want to do with it and blah, blah, blah. However, it ended up that he lost his job and had to end up moving into the B&B with her. And all these things were happening. The, the pipes were breaking down, the lights were going off, the house needed painting. It just was a very old house and it needed some updates. And so they moved in together and make a long story short, they fell in love. So the second part to this was is All of My Heart Part 2 in love, which is where they took the end, they turned it in. Oh, at the end of the first movie, he proposed to her. And so at the beginning of the second movie they were now engaged and living together but he so badly his heart was like still on wall street he still wanted to do wall street and at this moment in time they were running out of money because that the house just needed so much to fix and she they started up the bnb &B and she started getting customers but not enough to you know sort of just to keep them afloat um and so he decided that he wanted to go back into the stock market on Wall Street and you know at the end of the day they started to sort of separate and lose focus of why they really were together because he was in a different part and she was in a different part of the country and they just weren't seeing eye to eye anymore um, and so at the end of the movie they ended up coming back together and find out what they really you know what really brought them together in the first place so that's that all of my heart part one and part two beautiful movie you guys go check it out number four is a family Thanksgiving I did not see this one as of yet I wrote it down because I wanted you guys to go take go check a look go check a look go check it out um, for yourselves but I'm actually going to be watching this movie as well I thought I should just give you a list of the Hallmark um, fall movies and some of my favorite movies that I have actually watched um, So a family Thanksgiving I have not yet watched so I am going to watch that and also our harvest wedding I have not yet seen but you guys go ahead and check that out and that's number three a harvest wedding so My number one fall movie is falling for Vermont and this movie is about a writer She's a writer and she loves writing books, but she is terrified of the camera. She does not like publicity or anything like that. And she just needed a break. She needs a, a total overhaul, just a total break to relax. So she decided that she wanted to um, take a break. So she took her sister's car and drove all the way to Vermont. However, she... <laughs> got into an, a car accident and became like completely like she had amnesia she didn't know who she was she did not know her name and she did not know where she was so um a cop found her on a trooper a highway trooper found her you know in a ditch basically she was walking <laughs> in the middle of the street not really knowing what she was doing where she was who she was and <clears throat> And he took her to the hospital where there was a lovely doctor there and um, basically told her that she had amnesia. And so um, he didn't know how long it would have lasted for, um, but he liked to definitely keep her under observation. So she basically stayed at his guest house um, where he lived with his children and his wife passed away 
years ago and um she stayed at his guest house and she started to just really fall in love with vermont and the fall foliage and just everything that vermont represents at fall time she fell in love with it the people the community and these two lovely children she also fell in love with the doctor so at the end of the story they fell in love and she went back to um, the big city to finalize all the things that she needed to do for this book which they were turning into a movie and then she quickly realized like hey I love this guy I'm gonna go back to see where he is and see him in Vermont so basically that's what she did so she fell in love with the guy she fell in love with his children and she also fell in love with Vermont so I know that this was all over the place you guys but um, those are some of my favorite movies uh, on Hallmark for the fall and I will be giving you guys a favorite movie for my Christmas which I believe I gave it to you guys last year but I'm going to be doing that again because I have so many different favorite movies every year you're gonna get this from me because every year they have new movies on Hallmark and I just absolutely love them so hope you guys take the time out to go and watch these movies um, on Hallmark on YouTube pull them up wherever you can and I hope that you guys enjoy this video um, don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet done so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for all your feedbacks all your wonderful critiques and you know and everything you guys know I love you guys to life okay I love you guys so much and I appreciate you guys so much and I hope you guys are having a wonderful kickstart to the fall um, there's so many different fall videos out there and I am super duper excited because I'm gonna be binge watching I love the weekends because now I can just relax and watch fall movies all day long fall vlogs all day long I am just super excited about this season and um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys very soon. You guys will see another video up. Um, besides this video, there is going to be another video that I am going to be putting up um, tomorrow. And then you will get the final decision on my dining room uh, for the fall season on Saturday, which is the first. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys very, very soon, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed day. Don't forget, Jesus loves you, and I do too, and have a good one, you guys. Bye-bye. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall, but tonight I'm letting it go, spend my